All right, we're at section uh, 14.2, variation of pressure with depth. And let's uh, share the PowerPoint. And we start off with a, a uh, uh, density uh, table. Uh, table 14.1 is densities of some common substances at standard temperature, zero degrees, and standard temperature and pressure, which is one atmosphere. Uh, and we can see that the uh, density of air um, is 1.29. At 20 degrees C, we have a little bit more like room temperature, it's 1.2. Uh, you can see oxygen gas is 1.43, nitrogen gas is 1.25. And so we look at those, those are, uh, you know, times 10 to the zero. So it's a, uh, the order of magnitude is, is, uh, is one, 10 to the zero is one. Now let's look at some, some um, uh, liquids, fresh water, one, one times 10 to the three kilograms per cubic meter. Uh, the, uh, let's look at um, seawaters, 1.03 times 10 to the three. Uh, so we can see that there's a, a, a that's 10 to the three, that's, uh, you know, so it's about a thousand time in, increase. Um, so what does that mean? That means that the spacing, the molecular spacing in a gas is, a, is you know, one thousandth of what it was, what it is in liquids. There's a, a thousand more molecules per cubic meter um, in liquids than there is in gas. Uh, so let's, um, where's my cursor? There it is. Uh, there's the density equation. The rho, the density is equal to mass divided by uh, the volume. Okay, so let's take a, let's take a, uh, a fluid here. We're, we're imagining a parcel of fluid inside this, this fluid. The fluid has uh, uh, pressure, uh, P0 is atmospheric pressure. Uh, uh, on the top, and it's uh, P0 times the area. The parcel of fluid is in equilibrium, so the net force on it is zero. So the uh, uh, mass is equal to rho V. If, if the density rho is equal to uh, mass, the uh, if rho is equal to mass divided by the volume, then the mass is equal to rho times the volume, which is equal to uh, rho times AH, the area times the, uh, the height. Um, so uh, the, the weight of it, that was the mass, the weight of it is mg, uh, which is equal to rho ah times g. Uh, so the sum of the forces is equal to um, the pressure times uh, the area uh, J hat minus P zero A J hat minus M G uh, J hat. Uh, that all has to equal to zero since it's in equi equilibrium. So the um, since M G is equal to rho H rho A H G, we have P A minus P A uh, P zero A minus rho uh, A H G equals zero. We can do, we can pull out the A since it's common in all of them. And we have that pressure is equal to the uh, pressure zero. We're talking about the pressure at the bottom of this little parcel of fluid. The pressure at the bottom is the atmospheric pressure uh, plus rho GH, the pressure that comes from the volume, uh, that volume of, of um, of water, um, okay. So P zero, the atmospheric pressure, uh, one atmosphere is equal to um, one point zero one three times ten to the fifth uh, pascals. It's uh, typical is one hundred and one thousand three hundred and twenty five pascals, uh, or just one hundred one thousand uh, one hundred one thousand. I said it was a hundred thousand, a little more than a hundred thousand. So it's one hundred one thousand three hundred and twenty-five. Um, okay. Now, uh, if the pressure were to increase on the top of this 
uh, flask, the pressure would be transmitted to all points uh, below it, and that's Pascal's law. A change in pressure applied to a fluid is transmitted undiminished to every point of the fluid into the walls of the container. So you increase the pressure a little bit, that pressure will be felt um, on the walls and everywhere inside the, uh, uh, the fluid. And we use this to, to our advantage, mechanical advantage, in things like a hydraulic lift. Um, they're showing the schematic of a hydraulic lift here. Uh, you have a force uh, on a piston with a small area. Uh, you're going to have to push quite a bit. Delta, notice how delta X1 is quite a bit more than delta X2. But for the force that you put on the small area, you get uh, force two over a larger area over a smaller X. So the pressure uh, is equal to the force. Uh, the pressure is the same. You know, we, we go back to Pascal's law, a change in the pressure applied to a fluid is transmitted undiminished to every point of the fluid and the walls of the container. So the, uh, the pressure, the increase in pressure is equal to F1, A1 is equal to F2, A2. The pressure is the same. Uh, I apologize for the barking dogs. There's probably a cat outside or something that they're barking at. Um, no, I hope I didn't touch the mic. So uh, area one times X1 is equal to area two, X2. And would the, uh, the area times, it's a change in volume. The, the, uh, the, the volume, pushing down is going to be the volume pushing up. So area one delta X one is equal to area two delta X two equals to, so the ratio of area two to area one is equal to delta X one over delta X two. And we get a me mechanical adva advantage. You can liken it to your, uh, when you have a jack, uh, if you pump your jack, you're going to have to move your arm many more delta x's than the delta x that you get in raising your car um so the uh the force of two over the ratio of force of one is equal to delta x1 over delta x2 so that gives us this f1 x2 delta x2 equals f2 delta x1 we get this this exchange this mechanical advantage um, okay, the pressure at the bottom of a filled glass of water, which density is 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter, is P. The water is poured out and the glass is filled with ethyl alcohol, uh, which has a density of 806 kilograms uh, per cubic meter. Uh, what is the pressure at the bottom of the glass? Is it smaller than P? It was P being the, um, when you had the glass of water, when you had the water, equal to P? larger than p or indeterminate well because you have the atmospheric pressure on top and then you have the uh, uh, the rho g h uh, since the density is less the pressure is going to be less so it's going to be smaller than p and uh, that will stop there and we'll pick up with pressure measure measurements in the next uh, in the next video